This is 80. My heart is so full and my gratitude is so deep. Every one of your birthday wishes means so much to me. Life is such a gift and so many of you are such a big part of that. That's what Linda Evans wrote on her 80th birthday. Famous for her role as Crystal Carrington in the television series Dynasty, Linda has made the audience admire her unrivaled acting talent. However, can you believe it? Linda had a bad time as she became a wig-dependent woman in pain and saw ending life as her only way out. What happened to Linda? Don't worry, this video will help you answer. Let's get started. Contrary to the opulent world she portrayed as Crystal Carrington in the renowned ABC soap opera Dynasty, Linda Evans found herself navigating a tumultuous sea of challenges in the last two decades. A stark departure from the glamorous facade that characterized her on-screen presence. Her life became a series of trials, marked by a dilapidating illness, severe depression, and excruciating physical pain that pushed her to the very precipice of mortality. In her candidly revealing book, Recipes for Life, Linda unveils the raw and unfiltered narrative of those dark years, offering readers a glimpse into the depth of her struggles. The interview conducted in the aftermath of her book's release shed additional light on the harrowing experiences that defined this chapter of Linda's life. She opened it up about the profound impact of her illness, a relentless force that tore through the fabric of her well-being. Linda's words painted a vivid picture of a life in disarray, a reality far removed from the glamour of Hollywood. She confessed, My life just fell apart. I didn't understand depression, and my blood pressure went up. It just became a nightmare. Depression, an insidious foe, had infiltrated Linda's life, leaving her bewildered and grappling with the unfamiliar darkness that enveloped her. The mental and emotional toll manifested physically as her blood pressure soared, adding another layer to the already complex tapestry of her suffering. The nightmare she described was not confined to the screenplays of her acting career, but had become an unwelcome script in the theater of her own existence. Yet, amid the shadows, Linda Evans managed to emerge from the depths of despair. Her liberation, however, was not granted without a price. She had to traverse a path laden with sacrifices and struggles. The resilience that defined her on-screen characters now became a deafening trait in her real-life narrative. Linda's journey from the brink of death to the revelation of her own strength became a testament to the human spirit's capacity for endurance and renewal. In laying bare the intricacies of her personal tribulations, Linda Evans invites the world to witness the frailty and fortitude that coexist within every individual. Her story transcends the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, unraveling the complexity of a human experience marked by vulnerability, resilience, and the pursuit of healing. Reportedly, Linda Evans' journey into a realm of health challenges commenced over a decade ago, with the insidious specter of depression casting its shadow over her life. At the third annual Reflections of Hope luncheon in 2015, the then 78-year-old actress bared her soul, recounting a life story marred by a cascade of ailments, with depression being the first formidable adversary. During this poignant event, Linda reflected on how depression had stealthily infiltrated every aspect of her existence, profoundly impacting her standard of living. The acclaimed Banachek star didn't shy away from revealing the roots of her ailment attributing it to a series of family problems that unfolded like a tragic saga. The crisis began to unfold when Linda returned from a nine-month filming stint alongside Joan Collins, only to find her home in disarray. Her older sister, already grappling with a severe heart condition, needed a stent implant, a medical intervention that further added to the weight of Linda's familial burdens. Adding to the tableau of tragedy, was the heartbreaking news that her best friend was battling both macular degeneration, impairing her vision, and heart failure. The crowning blow came with the diagnosis of her youngest sister's stomach cancer, a cruel twist of fate mirroring the illness that had claimed their father's life. 
Three simultaneous family alchrises, each more heart-wrenching than the last, created a maelstrom of anguish that Linda found herself unable to fix. In the face of these overwhelming challenges, Linda Evans was left with nothing but the heavy burden of worry for her loved ones. The weight of helplessness, coupled with the enormity of the crises, proved to be a toxic cocktail that fueled her descent into depression. The once vibrant actress found herself ensnared in a web of familial tragedies, unable to extricate herself from the emotional turmoil that threatened to consume her. Yet, after years of grappling with this multifaceted crisis, Linda managed to emerge victorious. She fought her way back from the depths of depression, reclaiming her sanity in a testament to her resilience. The journey was undoubtedly arduous marked by sacrifices and emotional turmoil, but Linda Evans, like the characters she portrayed on screen, demonstrated an indomitable spirit in the face of adversity. At the culmination of her tumultuous journey, Linda Evans didn't merely survive. She emerged with a newfound perspective, a positive metamorphosis born from the crucible of her tribulations the iconic actress, having weathered the storm of depression found solace in an unexpected outcome, she became more compassionate. The darkness that had enveloped her life had an unexpected silver lining, prompting her to see the world through a lens of empathy and understanding that she hadn't possessed before. The crucible of mental health struggles also imparted a profound realization to Linda Evans. In the crucible of her own suffering, she discovered that her anguish did not alleviate the burdens of her loved ones. Instead, it exacerbated their own struggles. This revelation was a poignant awakening, shedding light on the interconnectedness of human suffering and the ripple effect it could have on those closest to us. Linda's journey became a testimony to the fact that, in the tapestry of shared human experience, Individual pain resonates far beyond personal boundaries. Rather than succumbing to the weight of her worries, Linda Evans chose to transmute her pain into a form of artistic catharsis. In a therapeutic endeavor, she penned her book, Recipes for Life. This literary venture became more than a memoir. It became a vehicle for healing, a means to navigate the labyrinth of depression and emerge on the other side with a sense of triumph. Pouring her experiences onto the pages of her book allowed Linda to confront her demons, transforming the act of writing into a transformative journey of self-discovery and resilience. Recipes for Life not only served as a cathartic outlet for Linda, but also extended a lifeline to others grappling with their own mental health battles. Through her words, she offered a recipe not just for culinary delights, but for navigating the complex and often treacherous terrain of life's challenges. The book became a testament to the transformative power of creativity, demonstrating that even in the darkest moments, one could find a path to healing through expression and introspection. Six years after weathering the initial storm of personal crises, Linda Evans found herself confronted with yet another agonizing chapter in her life. This time, the adversary was physical, a slipped disc that unleashed waves of excruciating pain, challenging her resilience despite a regimen of increased sleeping pills and painkillers. The actress, once a symbol of grace and elegance on screen, now grappled with a relentless physical torment that seemed insurmountable. The intensity of the pain inflicted not only physical distress, but also triggered the resurgence of her familiar nemesis, depression. The combination of chronic physical agony and the haunting specter of mental health battles plunged Linda into a tumultuous two-year struggle. These were years marked by a decline in her standard of living as the once lustrous Hollywood star grappled with the harsh realities of her own physical and emotional frailty. The world witnessed the extent of Linda Evans's physical trauma during a pivotal moment in 2014, the infamous DUI arrest that laid bare the toll her suffering had taken. Leaked footage captured a starkly different image from the glamorous persona she had portrayed on screen. The actress exhibited sluggish behavior, 
a lack of coordination, and an inability to stand without faltering, a stark departure from the poised and confident figure audiences were accustomed to seeing. The arresting officers, confronted with Linda's erratic driving, interpreted her disoriented behavior as a clear sign of intoxication. However, the subsequent blood tests revealed a surprising truth. Only traces of the sleeping pills she had taken the night before were present, with no evidence of drugs or alcohol. The revelation peeled back the layers of Linda's struggles, exposing the intersection of chronic pain and mental health battles that had led to this unfortunate incident. Eventually, Linda Evans chose to share her truth with the world. The veil of secrecy lifted as she disclosed that chronic back pain, stemming from a slipped disc, was the hidden culprit behind her erratic behavior. The excruciating physical torment had not only clouded her judgment, but had also manifested as a lack of coordination, leading law enforcement to misinterpret her condition as that of a drunk driver. Amidst the series of tribulations life hurled at her, Linda Evans, with her trademark resilience, faced one particular ailment that marked the zenith of her struggles. In the midst of her multifaceted battles, the actress confronted a significant health challenge, a spike in her blood pressure that left her grappling with its consequences. The intensity of the situation forced her into a dependency on blood pressure pills, becoming a lifeline to regulate a crucial aspect of her well-being. However, even as Linda acknowledged the necessity of these medications, she couldn't ignore the toll they exacted on her overall sense of well-being. The star openly admitted her aversion to the way the pills made her feel. Frustrated with the side effects and the perceived intrusion into her vitality, Linda made the difficult decision to discontinue the medication, a choice that would prove to be a pivotal and regrettable moment in her health journey. The repercussions of this decision manifested abruptly and dramatically. Linda Evans, in an act of defiance against the pills she detested, found herself confronting a harsh reality. She vividly recalled a distressing incident where she blacked out in public, the hard gravel floor becoming an unforgiving stage for the unexpected descent. As she landed face down, her visage meeting the rough surface, Linda experienced not only the physical trauma of the fall, but also the visceral realization that her health had reached a perilous tipping point. The bloodied face and the abrupt loss of consciousness served as a stark wake-up call for Linda Evans. The consequences of discontinuing the medication were not only evident in the tangible wounds she sustained, but also in the profound understanding that seeking help was not a sign of weakness, but a necessity. In that moment of vulnerability, Linda recognized the gravity of her situation and acknowledged that her health required intervention. Linda Evans, amidst the shadows of her dark years, bore the weight of not only physical ailments, but also the overwhelming burden of emotional turmoil. In a harrowing revelation, she candidly shared that the depths of her despair had led her to contemplate a suicide. The confluence of depression, relentless pain, and the myriad challenges life thrust upon her pushed Linda to a point of desperation where she sought answers in vain. Face it with the unrelenting anguish, she began questioning the very essence of the life she led, ultimately reaching a grim conclusion. The actress, known for her resilience in the face of adversity, bared her soul as she articulated the profound pain that led her to contemplate the unthinkable. In her own words, Linda expressed, I really understood why people say maybe I don't need to be alive because it's so painful to be alive and nobody had an answer. These poignant words encapsulated the depth of her suffering, the isolating sense of hopelessness that pervaded her existence, and the desperate quest for solace that remained elusive. The darkness that Linda faced wasn't just physical or emotional. It was existential. The unanswerable questions that echoed in her mind drove her to a precipice where the allure of escape seemed preferable to the unrelenting pain that defined her daily existence. 
In sharing her contemplation of suicide, Linda offered a raw and unfiltered glimpse into the profound struggles that individuals grappling with mental health challenges endure, transcending the veneer of stardom and glamour. This revelation also underscored the importance of acknowledging the silent battles that many face, hidden behind smiles and public personas. Linda Evans' vulnerability in sharing this deeply personal aspect of her journey became a poignant plea for compassion and understanding regarding the complexities of mental health. Her words resonated not only as a reflection of her own despair, but as a testament to the universal human experience of grappling with the inexplicable, seeking answers, and, at times, feeling lost in the darkness. In a bid to liberate herself from the relentless physical agony that had gripped her for two interminable years, Linda Evans embarked on a journey of healing that involved a series of four orthoscopic surgeries. The laser-based procedures, while bringing respite to her back pain, came at a poignant cost. The loss of her iconic hair, once the epitome of trend-setting styles that graced the front pages of magazines for years. The decision to undergo orthoscopic surgeries marked a pivotal moment in Linda's quest for physical well-being. The laser treatments, a testament to medical advancements, proved to be a transformative intervention, offering her a reprieve from the excruciating pain that had shadowed her every move. The healing touch of modern medicine became a beacon of hope, ushering in a new chapter in Linda Evans' life. A chapter characterized by restored health and a rekindled sense of vitality. However, the triumph over physical pain was accompanied by a visible transformation. The loss of her hair, once an integral part of her identity and a canvas for trend-setting hairstyles, became a symbol of the sacrifices made in the pursuit of health. Linda, who had graced the front pages of magazines for years, now found herself navigating a different narrative, one of resilience, transformation, and the acknowledgement that true well-being sometimes requires letting go of external symbols. Undeterred by the visible changes, Linda Evans emerged from this chapter of her life with a renewed dedication to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Beyond her personal journey, she assumed the role of a motivational speaker, passionately encouraging other women to prioritize their health and well-being. Through her speeches, she became a beacon of inspiration, sharing the wisdom gained from her own experiences and advocating for the transformative power of embracing a healthy lifestyle. In a remarkable return to the world of acting in 2021, Linda Evans graced the screen once again in the film Swan Song. The allure of the script proved powerful enough to coax her out of retirement, signaling a resurgence of her passion for the craft that had defined much of her illustrious career. This cameo marked not just a cinematic return, but also a testament to Linda's enduring curiosity and love for storytelling. As Linda embraced this new chapter, a 2023 article from Amo Mama shed light on the actress's approach to beauty, fitness, and overall well-being. While she openly acknowledges having undergone plastic surgery in the past, Linda now advocates for a more natural approach. Her health routine has become a holistic journey, centered around nutrition, exercise, and stress management. Linda's dedication to health and fitness manifests in a multifaceted regimen. Long walks, especially with her beloved dog Alexi, have become a cherished part of her routine. Strength training contributes to her physical vitality, while the practice of yoga enhances flexibility and balance. Each morning, Linda engages in meditation, cultivating a peaceful state of mind that sets a positive tone for the day. In emphasizing the importance of stress reduction for healthy aging, she imparts valuable advice to those seeking a balanced and fulfilling life. Faced with poor health, many people raised questions about her married life. In her late teens, she was engaged to Patrick Curtis, who later became a press agent and eventually married Raquel Welch, an early glimpse into the intricate web of connections that often characterizes Hollywood relationships. The actress has been married and divorced twice, and her first marriage was to actor, photographer, and film director John Derrick. 
Their romance unfolded in 1965, leading to a union in 1968. However, the marital bliss was short-lived, marked by their separation on Christmas Day in 1973. The demise of their relationship was intensified by Derek's revelation of an affair with Mary Kathleen Collins, a 17-year-old who would later be known as Bo Derek. The significant age difference and the revelation of infidelity cast a shadow over Linda's first marriage, ultimately leading to its dissolution. Following her divorce from John Derrick, Evans entered into her second marriage with Stan Herman, a property executive, in 1975. However, this union also faced its challenges culminating in divorce in 1979. Linda's romantic journey continued with a period of cohabitation with restaurant owner Georgia Santo Pietro, spanning from 1980 to 1984. Throughout the 1980s, Linda Evans navigated the complexities of love and companionship with various notable figures. She briefly dated her The Big Valley castmate Lee Majors following her second divorce. Additionally, she explored relationships with businessmen Richard Cohen, an ex-husband of Tina Sinatra, and Dennis Stein, a former fiancé of Elizabeth Taylor during the mid-1980s. In 1989, a new chapter of love unfolded for Linda as she began a significant relationship with New Age musician Yanni, a connection that endured until 1998. The relationship with Yanni added a musical and artistic dimension to Linda's romantic history, showcasing the diversity of her connections over the years. Among her closest confidants are her ex-stepdaughter, television writer Sean Catherine Derrick, and Bunky Young, her former assistant, whom she has known since the mid-1960s. Both Sean and Bunky reside near Linda in Washington State forming a tight-knit support system that transcends the conventional boundaries of family and professional relationships. This bond exemplifies the depth and longevity of Linda's connections, shaped by shared experiences and a genuine sense of camaraderie. Another significant figure in Linda's life is Ursula Andress, the second wife of her ex-husband, John Derrick. Despite the complexities inherent in such relationships, Linda and Ursula share a close friendship, with Ursula occasionally being a house guest at Linda's Beverly Hills residence. This unique connection speaks to Linda's capacity for maintaining amicable relationships, even in the intricate web of past marriages and blended families. In the face of health challenges, particularly a diagnosis of idiopathic edema, Linda Evans embarked on a journey of self-discovery and alternative healing. Her exploration led her into the realms of Eastern philosophy and naturopathy, seeking holistic approaches to wellness. In 1985, she delved further into metaphysical teachings and became associated with J.Z. Knight and Ramtha's School of Enlightenment. This transformative experience prompted Linda to relocate to Rainier, Washington, aligning herself more closely with Knight and the school's teachings. Today, Linda resides on a sprawling 70-acre estate, sharing her home with her sister, nephew, and ex-stepdaughter, a testament to the deep bonds of family and chosen connections that anchor her life. Linda's multifaceted journey also includes a moment in the spotlight that diverges from her acting career. In 1971, at the behest of her then-husband, John Derrick, Linda appeared in Playboy magazine. The photos gained renewed attention in 1982, coinciding with her tremendous fame on Dynasty. This dual feature in Playboy serves as a unique footnote in Linda's public image, reflecting the intersections of her personal life with the broader landscape of fame and media portrayal. What do you think about Linda Evans' tragic life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.